A marketing campaign is a set of timed emails and actions that you can perform on a schedule. Or you can automate these steps to activate based on predefined behaviors of your audience. In this video, I want to introduce marketing campaigns to you by showing you how to create a new campaign in Act Marketing Automation. So once you've logged into your Act database, click the Marketing Automation link in the left navigation. Then from here, make sure you click Campaigns at the top of the screen. Now to create a new campaign, hover over the Actions menu and choose New Campaign. A marketing campaign can consist of email steps, time delays, decision stages, and a handful of different action types, even conclusions that end the campaign. The Create New Campaign screen shows some pre-built templates that you can use to quickly get your campaign up and running. The tabs at the top can help you locate a pre-built template by viewing your own past templates, viewing by type, or even viewing by industry. If you click either of these last two selections, you'll then see additional categories on the left to help you find the pre-built template that you need. Or if you want to start from scratch, go to All Templates and then choose the Blank Campaign Template. I'm going to choose the Welcome Campaign, which is useful to welcome new customers that you've acquired. Click Continue. And now if you made a mistake and you chose the wrong template, you can always switch it in this first drop-down list. Let's give our campaign a name. I'm going to call it Welcome New Customers. Smart tags are like hashtags in that you can assign words or phrases to your campaigns in order to identify them or group similar campaigns together by common search terms. So I might have one smart tag that says Welcome and maybe another one that says New Customers. Make sure you hit Enter on your keyboard to complete the smart tag. Now I'll click Continue. Next, we need to choose a group from our ACT database to whom we'll include in this campaign. I'm going to choose my Gmail group. The From Name field is what your recipients will see as the sender of this email. I'm going to leave mine as the common email address. And then the default From Name field is the name of the person that will appear in the From line of the email. I suggest that you use a name here that's recognizable to your subscribers, otherwise they might not open your email. In the default from email address field, Act Marketing Automation is expecting to see a specific domain that's associated with your account. In the email server field, you can choose the domain from which you'll send emails within this campaign. So by default, actsend.com will appear unless you've set up your own custom domain ahead of time. Finally, the reply to address is where any replies will be sent. It's a good idea to use an email address that someone at your company monitors. Once we click Create, our campaign workflow appears. In this pre-built campaign, we have a start step, a timing arrow, the first email step, another delay, followed by a decision stage, and then yes and no branches. And at the very bottom of every branch in a campaign, you must have end steps. In the next videos, we're going to look at adding templates to the email steps of this campaign.